My name is Danny Lee, and I am one of the co-presidents of Free Minds. A little bit about ourselves. We work to reduce the stigma of mental illness through giving students and people from all walks of life a chance to express themselves through creative means, like art, film, or poetry. You can check us out at uscfreeminds.com. The week of October 6th is National Mental Health Awareness Week. We at Free Minds want to take this opportunity to engage the entire USC community in a campus-wide discussion on mental illness and the quality and effectiveness of the resources available. According to a nationwide survey conducted by the National Alliance on Mental Illness, approximately 73% of college students have experienced a mental health crisis, and 35% of those students admitted that the college did not even know about it. We want students to take this opportunity to interact with staff and faculty to uncover potential issues with USC's and LA County's mental health resources and figure out ways to improve it for the future. We plan to have this discussion forum on October 8th from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the Tudor Campus Center Grand Ballroom. We plan to have the panel discussion from 6.30 to 8 and a dinner banquet from 8 to 9 to facilitate a deeper level of conversation that is key to stimulating change in our community. We are expecting an audience of 220 people consisting primarily of USC undergraduates but also graduate students and faculty. We're going to have different USC representatives on the panel from the, like the Counseling Center, Res Ed, Student Affairs, and DPS. We will also have different faculty from various departments like the Law School, the Keck School of Medicine, Global Medicine Program, and the Social Work Program. We will also have outside representatives from the Diddy Hirsch Suicide Prevention Hotline and the LA County Department of Mental Health. We will also have student panelists on the panel that will share some of their experiences and will engage the student body in the conversation. In terms of cost breakdown, we have a number of fees that we hope USG can fund. Our total cost will be approximately $4,370.50, covering scheduling venue fees, parking passes, food, and marketing. We are requesting $4,100 from USG, the maximum allotted amount, to go towards venue fees, parking passes, and food for a banquet. We'll be using charitable donations to go towards marketing fees, and we'll hold fundraisers to cover any remaining costs. We chose the TCC Grand Ballroom specifically because it can accommodate a large audience of up to 220 people. It has room for both a discussion panel and a banquet, and is conveniently located right in the center of campus. Parking passes are also important because all our panelists will have cars and it would be inconvenient for them to have them pay for parking. Out of courtesy and respect for our panelists, we feel that parking passes are a must. Now we are requesting funding for up, up to 10 parking passes for approximately 10 panelists, so that's about $100. We understand USG rules regarding funding food, but we feel that food is absolutely necessary for our event to create the environment we need for discussion in order to facilitate the conversation between students and faculty, staff, and administration that will promote the change we like to see in the USC and surrounding community, we feel that the dinner banquet afterwards has to be a part of our event. During the dinner, we hope to provide a supportive environment where students are free to share stories that would better help staff and faculty understand their mental and emotional needs. We are also involving a substantial, if not entirely, undergraduate audience in the discussion, so we feel that USG should consider funding or cause. Thank you for listening to my funding proposal, and I'm looking forward to very good news. Have a good weekend. Bye.